morning, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meaty69 and welcome back to the channel. Today we've just got a quick short video for you today. Uh, basically we're going to be watching the learner event that is coming, the video from Wargaming. Uh, they gave me access to the video early before they release it to, to give me time just to make my review on the, on the event. And to pretty much try and to explain it as best as I can. So we're going to get into the video. I do apologise for any background noise. I am actually making this video at home with Kieran in the background. So let's get on with the video. According to legend, the dragon Nian had been invading villages for centuries. So as we know, it's the, basically a Chinese event. One day. The villagers thought of a way to free themselves from Nian's reign of terror. Red lanterns proved their salvation. Using the light cast by the lanterns, they chased the dragon away. Since then, the celebration of emerging victorious over ancient evil has become a tradition. This celebration... So Wargaming's probably gone out with uh, the video for this one. They've actually made it into a really good video with all the... Uh, Tanks doing some kind of dance. Uh, it looks pretty good, to be honest. It looks pretty good. T thirty four three, as we know, is going to be one tank. Container that includes various boosters, certificates for days of premium account or gold, and special coins. So for your first five victories, you will get uh, a container where you can get coins and you can get these uh, gold as well. So, as you've just seen, each for the first five victories, uh, I think you get a, a crate for, and you can get the coins, and you can get some gold boosters, etc. And you can use them coins in this event here, as you can see. Looks a pretty easy event, pretty uh, to be honest. It looks a pretty easy event where you can win the T thirty four three, uh, or the and or the Type sixty four. I'm guessing. You probably won't be able to win both of them for free. You probably won't be able to win both of them for free. Uh, but definitely you would be able to win one. Um, out of the two, I'll definitely recommend the T-34-3. One is a tier 8 tank and the other is a tier 6. And it's just a better tank overall. So I'm guessing that one will be a bit harder to, to win. Um, but it's definitely possible to win a free tank. It's, it's got to be... It normally is these learner events. Um, so all you've got to do with the first five victories, you get uh, a crate. And you open the crate and you can get some coins. Not sure how many coins is actually needed to get to the any of these tanks. And also, every victory you have, every victory you have, you're going to earn some coins that you can use in this event. Uh, also, if you, if you want to make it quicker, there is going to be the store where you can buy crates for credits not for money not for gold there might be some for money and gold i don't know but there's going to be some for credits so you can actually buy crates for credits that you can earn these coins that you can go through uh, up the event quicker Boosters, credits, free XP and premium account. so the prizes are not great which i'm it's, this is what i'm saying it should be pretty easy the tier six type 64 or tier eight but the T thirty four three is actually a good tank. It's been, it's been buffed uh, quite a few times. Complete all stages faster. Go to the store and purchase lunar containers using credits. As I said, as soon as you complete all the main stages, additional stages with new prizes will unlock for you. Exchange your remaining coins for free XP. And so I like that. I like that. Wargaming had just said there. If you complete the the event. You can carry on more the event will pretty much restart for you so you can just keep winning and keep winning so i think that's a pretty good idea i mean every event we've had so far once you complete the event it finishes it ends that's no more gone where this you can keep winning prizes you can keep going and it'll pretty much by the way i it sounded just in that bit it um it looks like it will restart and you can do it all again and get some the other the other either the other tank or get the tank again and get some credits. Let's just listen to that again. Stages, 
So additional pri additional stages will unlock. So not pretty, not bad. And when the event's over, as it's just said there, when the event is over, you can use the coin, the remaining coins that you've got for free XP, which is good. Which is good. I've got so many charms and shit that I've got that wargaming don't give you anything for. So they're just sitting in my garage, sitting in my um, whatever you call them. And there's nothing I can do. So I do like the fact that any remaining coins you get, you can use free XP for. Exchange them. As it's just said, receiving your award over and over. So... So a pretty good, a pretty good uh, event to be honest. Looks nice and easy. Doesn't look uh, too difficult. As you can see here, from January 24th to, through to 31st, so you've got a week. You've got a week to do it. Um, but again, it looks an easy event for good tanks. I mean, the T64 I'm not a lover of, but people that love their light tanks. I mean, I love my light tanks, but the T64, the T6. It's just doesn't feel good to me where the t 343 is a tier 8 uh, It's got a lovely turret. It's got that big 400 uh, alpha uh, and it's a pretty good tank It is a pretty good tank after war gaming has buffed it. They buffed the reload It's a pretty good tank. So I've got to say well done for war gaming on, on this event because People have been complaining about events especially Christmas events where they wanted they expect one thing and they do have no chance of getting uh, getting that thing where this the event looks pretty easy it does look pretty easy all you need to do is pretty straightforward just win your first fight first five victories of the day you're going to get a crate um in that crate you can open up and you can get boosters gold and coins and then every victory you have you're going to earn some coins where you go to the lantern which is the event and you can just past the, the stages again not sure i would love for war when war gaming does these videos i would actually love for them to show us how many coins is actually needed per event but they don't show you that so i'm not sure how difficult it's going to be but i think it's going to be pretty easy and um, definitely to get one tank i doubt it will be easy to get two tanks um so don't expect two tanks if you can get two tanks great it all really depends because it's victory based. It all depends on how often you can play and how many battles you can play uh, and how many times you win. If you have a 100% win rate in one day, you're going to get it pretty quickly. So that is the learner event, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Good luck in any of the tanks. As I said before, I would probably recommend the T34 3, but it all depends on your skill level. If you haven't even got a tier 8, if you're a newer player to the game and you haven't got a tier 8, then I'd probably recommend the tier 6, as it will probably be easier to get as well. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm Measy69, and I will catch you all soon. Bye bye.